I'm going to talk today about HR's seat at the table. And um, it's a topic that was suggested to me, taking it from the point of view of a CEO. So, so I had some questions. Number one, why is HR looking for a seat at the table? Must mean that they don't already have one. So why don't you have a seat at the table? So this is Jerry, uh, Gary Salton is a professor at the University of Michigan. He actually did a study um, about why HR people don't have a seat at the table. And his conclusion was there's a systematic difference between HR executives and the other executives who already have a seat at the table. So he goes on to say, the area where HR falls short focuses on convincing others to accept their position on important matters. A seat at the table is earned by being able to ac accurately project what will happen if alternative policy or strategy courses are pursued. Okay? Let me ask you this. How many people in this room are math majors? We have one. Okay? Accountants, accounting majors, somebody that's a, a few more. So we have maybe five in this room. How many of you would consider yourself to be right-brained? That is intuitive, holistic, big picture, random, creative. The vast majority, okay? Right-brained people are analytical, logical, rational, objective. That's the difference. How many of you have a CFO that's left or right-brained? How about left-brained? Left-brained CFO. COO, how many of them are, are going to be left-brained? Okay, All of them. Yet you guys are over on the other side. So how do you bridge that gap? And I would argue the best executives do. It doesn't matter if they're right-brained or left-brained, but they can cross over. Think about your CEO. I don't know if he's right-brained or left-brained, but my guess is he can, he can navigate both sides of this. True or false? I mean, you guys... I think the best executives do. And so if you guys want a seat at the table, if you want to be in, you're going to have to bridge that gap. And that means for the vast majority of you guys, you're going to have to move over to that left brain side. And it takes time, it takes training, it takes a little bit of discipline. But that's what I want to talk about today. What are those things? How can you um, exhibit those skills or those traits that are found in left brained people? CEOs speak the language of numbers. Anybody going to disagree with this? All right, we talk about dollars. We talk about stock price. We talk about profit. We talk about cost of goods. It's all about dollars. And I, I don't mean to be crass about that, but if you think about it, most of your employees show up for work every day. Why? Because you're going to pay them, right? People invest in your company. Why? because they're going to get a return on their investment, they want to make money. And so that's, that's what it is, that's the language of business. We talk percentages, sales increases, ROI, profit margins, even turnover, right? What's your turnover rate in your company? You guys will probably all know what your turnover rate is. And we talk units, units produced, hours billed, things like that. Still comes back to numbers. We're talking about numbers all the time. So here are some of the lessons that I want want to make sure that we get across. Talk my language. And that's going to be, you might have to go to school. Go back and take a business class. Go to a seminar on finance or accounting. Even if you have to tie yourself to your CFO and say, will you teach me this stuff? Sitting in his or her office, asking questions, learning. You know, there is a way that you can get to this information. What's important in our business? Do you guys know what the key metrics are in your business? Beyond the financials, what are the other things that drive your business? Um, anybody have used balance scorecard or a dashboard that, that show those types of metrics? If you have them, get access to that information. Find out how you can get it. Is it the number of um, units that are being produced on the floor really drives our profitability in our business? Is it marketing and sales expense? You know, how much we're spending here and we have key metrics. Whatever it is that drives your business, that's what you have to get in touch with.